Hello, good evening. <clears throat> Thank you all so much for joining me today. So this video is all about my favorites of March. So like favorite skin products of March. So observing my skincare usage from beginning to the end of March, this is pretty much um, all I've been really using. Aside from my normal skincare, routine i'll link that down below but these are just kind of like extra these are kind of like the sprinkles on top of my already pretty basic skincare routine i showed a more extreme version in that video i will link down below my skincare routine but usually i stick to like three products i showed them in the video so yeah um and then i add on whatever else i feel like that evening so i will start with number one this is just something i apply like right before i start filming but this is just pure shea butter i don't know a lot like of People, if shea there's butter, a few people that mentioning that shea butter bro broke them out, but I personally have never ever ever found any problems with shea butter. If anything, I've researched like the opposite. Apparently, it's like apparently it helps like treat acne scars and blemishes and even acne. So, and again, I've never broken out from this before. It's just pure shea butter from LXMI. Bomb to oil, but I put it like everywhere. <laughs> My lips are so dry. It's like so moisturizing and this is probably like the most moisturizing thing I've ever put on my face in so long like before I go to bed I just like go to bed with it and then I wake up in the morning and my skin is so soft and feel like it just one of the oils that actually absorb I feel like right into my skin whereas a lot of oils I've tried in the past they just kind of sit on top so shea butter is one of the butters butter slash oils that just like I don't know they just really do the job for me so uh <laughs> I'm just my, put that on there whatever anyway um so yeah this is like one of the most nourishing things out of all the things i'm about to show you but anyway this is number one i just had to mention anyway the second product i thought i would mention this because it has definitely been uh quite the game changer the past month this I is niacinamide niacinamide is a form of b vitamin so i feel like b vitamins just in general putting on top of your face slapping them on there ingesting them i just found the best results in my skin so definitely yeah pick up one of these i'll link this down below i'll link all these obviously down below but yeah this was um definitely very interesting i never thought i would see any benefits in this product for some reason it just seemed to be magic on my skin so my, my skin really enjoyed it scarring was uh definitely diminishing over time definitely more ordinary products to come to test because i am definitely liking them um i'm actually testing grand active retinoid right now so we will see the video and results of that me adding that in my uh skincare routine anyway so yeah that was definitely one of my favorites the third one i thought was super 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 good so this also it has such a good it, this has such good ingredients to combat acne scars. This pretty much this is, is like a aloe, fighter like gel, fresh so. aloe in a jar, but it also has added MSM, which is so good for your acne scars. Organic green tea, horsetail, wild geranium, organic dandelion, a bit of peppermint essential oil for that like kind of cooling feeling because it feels so refreshing. But honestly, let's be real. The magic ingredients in this is the aloe, the MSM, and the green tea. Like this is just a powerhouse of just like acne fighting magic and just overall skin texture and elasticity i'm actually affiliate with bandage so i'll put the code right here they literally are one of my most favorite skincare brands completely vegan cruelty free so natural organic pure a lot of good stuff in it speaking of that also honestly i feel like this has always always been my favorite but <laughs> the glycolic pumpkin acid enzyme mix mixed with because pumpkin, glycolic for some acid, reason it just makes it so much more active like activated I don't know what it is that combination it's soothing but also it's very brightening at the same time it has like vitamin c vitamin e sugar cane extract which is really good natural exfoliant basically it just the softest exfoliator of life i personally prefer this glycolic mask over glycolic toners just because i find glyco uh, glycolic toners are a bit harsh and also it's just the one ingredient whereas this i feel like the combination of all of it just it just for some reason again it just acts so much better um i only use this about once a week same with my glycolic toners i really i do enjoy them still like i still use them 
but I'll use the glycolic toners as well about once a week. It's so crazy how they said you can use them like twice a day, which to me, it's crazy because that stuff, like glycolic acid is so intense. So I would only use glycolic acid once in the evening if you want to use it every day, only in the evening. Make sure you wear sunscreen, protect your skin <laughs> at all costs. Don't put it in the morning, in my opinion. That just like defeats the purpose for me because uh, I think it makes your skin a bit more thin and sensitive and just more prone to being irritated. So again, if anything, I just stick to it once a week. But yeah, like obsessed though, like if you do incorporate glycolic acid in your everyday routine or once a week routine, is going to improve your skin texture and scarring so much like it's insane <laughs> and again it's just like the softest form of chemical exfoliant i stopped using the physical bead exfoliants i just tossed them because they're just way too harsh on my skin and also they just don't produce the results i want whereas this one it's just complete opposite in the best way possible so much more gentler on your skin and also you see results perfect product I've been using um, as of recently the past couple months honestly very on and off but again I feel like it's one of those things where you can get away with putting on a few times a week and you're still gonna see results just like the glycolic acid because again within the uh, chemical exfoliant family this is the salicylic acid this is just the stridex alcohol free make sure all your skincare is alcohol free you do not want wrinkly skin in the future and i feel like alcohol makes your skin sensitive and more dry and prone to just wrinkles <laughs> so yeah make sure you get uh alcohol free in all of your skincare there's like some alcohols like sadal benzoyl they're fine they're actually moisturizing but the sd alcohol the pure alcohol you want to stay away from there's like few other alcohols that are not good so yeah this is just like pure salicylic acid and yeah this is the only salicylic acid so far that i've tried that i really really like and that again doesn't contain alcohol because the oxy pads i tried and they're just way too harsh and again they just strip and damage your skin i feel like in the long run i just don't I don't live by them. I still have yet to branch out into other salicylic acid products because again, it's kind of hard to find salicylic acid without alcohol. So far though, this is the one product that I find that definitely lightens my scars. I have a video on this uh, using it down below. <laughs> you could check, but again, I don't use this every single night just like this. It's kind of just like a once a week. This one I can use a bit more often. I can use like a few times a week in the evening. Whereas this one, again, I'll use like once a week. These are the products that I use very, very minimal because again, they do exfoliate. I guess can make your skin more sensitive. This one definitely does more so than the salicylic, but again, I use them very, very, very sparingly and um, my skin seems to be completely fine and reacting very well to that. And the very last product of my favorites, um, I just thought I would quickly mention, but it's just a sunscreen. Um, because again, at the end of the day, especially when you wear like glycolic acid, you wanna protect your skin during the day. So uh, one of my favorites, again, that doesn't break me out is the Luminosity Acne Skincare Daily Habit SPF 30 non-comedogenic uva uvb protection and yeah this also has aloe in it uh super soothing it does not give you a white cast which is amazing because a lot of people i know don't like greasy and white casty sunscreen if anything what i hate about sunscreens is one they're greasy and two they give you a white cast so this luckily does not give you any of that and again it doesn't break you out and also it kind of helps acne scars because it does have aloe in it aloe is such a magical ingredient so yeah i just thought i'd quickly mention that and, uh, and yeah, sunscreen is super, super essential, especially every day, no matter what age or where you are in the world, definitely sunscreen during the day, all the time, 24 seven. Uh, also, I have an affiliate code with uh, Luminosity, you can have here, 10%, I'll link that down below, but yeah definitely definitely yeah keep keep your skin protected <laughs> i guess if i want to mention one extra one i mean as always this is always going to be in my favorites i'm so close to being done but this is the different gel oh my gosh this i'm literally from the like screaming the very last time it over I the counter in more. canada oh so, uh i'm gonna have to try to see the next time i can get some of this this overall it helps with scarring hyperpigmentation texture cell turnover everything because it's pretty much like a retinol um or retinoid within that family that's just kind of an extra i thought i would add them there i feel like that'll always be in my favorites <laughs> so yeah we'll see about my april favorites if it will stay the same or if i'll uh, interchange some of them out but so far these are the products that i really 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 enjoy and i uh, definitely think you cannot go wrong with any of them and yeah 
with that being said i uh, hope you enjoyed this video i uh, hope you have a good day good night wherever you're watching this please subscribe if you want to see more of me i post every sunday tuesday and thursday hit that bell notification so you don't miss a video i post and all my social media links will be down below as well as all the products in the video subscribe to my second youtube channel it is my artist channel for when i release music if you all don't know hello my name is sonia i am a music producer and i produce music so if you're interested to like pop upbeat edm kind of edm pop kind of housey upbeat bright music oh my gosh or if you're just a music lover of pop music in general subscribe to my second channel down below i will really link that the first thing it would mean the world to me if you support me i just oh my gosh i would love it so much lots of virtual kisses and hugs and i will see you in the next video okay peace <laughs>